something fucked up was going down here. Somewhere. And he did say Mirage. So. Well, about you. Does the other guy at least look worse? I'll live. Got sick. Don't know about what, to be honest. Everyone was baffled about it. I got better, though. Oh, oh I get sick sometimes. Yeah. Right. Never mind. I was gonna say, um... Because I don't know if you still have your bandages or gauze or whatever. Um, yeah, uh, he's... I'm, I'm full on... Covered in it. I'm dressed yeah, like a jacket like... on, clothes, so there's never a sign of, like... It's only his face, you can really see in his hands. So I don't know if there's anything on those, but no. So he just sort of says, got some sick, got the medical award, you know. Doesn't sound like you really got sick. I don't know what it was, but. I always hated the cough syrups. Never tasted what they said like. The what? The cough syrups. Oh, you get sick, you take the cough syrups. Yeah, well, mine wasn't really whatever it was. I got better over it. So I just and I came here. Oh. Got some equipment with me just in case. I don't. What happened with you and what's going on right now? I think it's better we say as a group. I got beaten with bats. Yeah, it worse than me then, mate. In a chair. I don't like chairs anymore. There we go. Sleep, bro. Sleep. <laughs> Can I see if, like, Ray is trying to hide something? Because I... legit, like, out of the nurse, he was feeling bad. Alexander no, doubts. Doubts that Ray is fine, so like, yeah, and then a lot of shit has been going on, so like, he's oh, yeah, very if you sick, want to. Yeah, what's up? which he what's is because you know, a little bit paranoid. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if Gen were in any state to be questioning anything, he might have questioned it himself, and he's not particularly suspicious. Well, of uh, Ray, because it's like, I mean. Cause if I'm I'm gonna say Alex is gonna have to roll a human perception and Ray's gonna have to roll a persuasion or fast talk. That's Both under... of them are empathy based skills. No mod. No mod. Sorry, I'm gonna put three luck points into this. Put in two. At that point, just instead of putting three and two. Put one in none. Okay, I got two nat tens and they got a one. Okay. Ooh. 29. <clears throat> okay, I'm I don't just... think you're beating this one, buddy. Unless he rolls well. No. No. Yeah, two. Since I said it. A 31. <laughs> Damn! Damn. <laughs> <laughs> two more than. <laughs> You know, I take back all I was saying. He beat you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a surprise. Not you know, had lot. had Ray had Ray not rolled that other one as a one, he would have beaten Alex because it was two nat tens. But this is how it goes. So because Alex did so good, you can tell that Ray is not saying something but given the emotion and everything that's happened and like what just happened to you you're not too particularly sure about much of anything and ray's doing a decent enough job of being convincing so it's like you, you feel you feel like something slightly up but you don't know why <laughs> alexander will remember this Again, probably will not. <laughs> I'd say about now, 
Daniel and Akari can be showing up. Oh, jeez. Poor guy. Yep. Just passed out as his sister walks in. You're the one that keeps passing yourself out. Hey, hey, it makes sense. He's been beaten to shit. (laughs) You know, consciousness is an elusive thing at that point. I mean, you've been stabilized for like three hours. Stabilizing. I'm sorry, you get beat for 30 minutes. (laughs) And we'll see how your conscience is doing in 30 hours. Tell us to the child abusers. Like I said, he is in rough shape, but I am... Myself and the others, we are working to stabilize him. He mentions that he wanted to see you, but I didn't think it was a good idea to bring you here right away. Because, well... I thought he might do something reckless. I I go again. Your sister's here. Let him rest. Let him rest for now. Let him get his ground. Did Daniel fill you in? Daniel would have told her pretty much everything that she asked about. Yeah. Did he specifically tell her about uh, it being the ones that killed their dad? He he didn't mention that, but that was mostly because he wasn't sure what Gen was getting at because Gen was delirious at the time. That was pretty uh, far down on the priorities list. Let's, uh, let's, let's see. What do, what would we think a good uh, check to, <laughs> to see how quickly I come back to consciousness would be? We'll go with just a straight body. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think would work. Uh, we'll go with the DC 17 to wake up and everyone under it is like five minutes. Uh, <laughs> suddenly awake. Just here is Akari. I heard my sister walk in the room. No, um, Akari would have made her way to you and she's like kneeled down. Down. Again, as uh, as you're laying there, uh, Kari sets her her hand on your shoulder. Then, like, like almost the moment that her hand sets on your shoulder, you feel almost a burst of energy. Remove six wound points. Got that sister power. I am no Hmm. longer at mortal. I am critical. As Gen's eyes essentially just snap open. Akari. Akari. It's them. And with a renewed strength, he pushes himself up just slightly. Whoa, 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 bruh, bruh, calm down. Chill, chill. It's the... It's the ones that killed Dad. I saw them in the woods. They were searching for me. Does Akari say anything? Akari kind of just turns her eyes up as though she knows exactly what Yen's talking about. And then... She just says, all that matters is you're still kicking. (laughs) I never even got the chance. Pills to knock me out. Be 
hit me with bats. And they couldn't even catch me. Fuck, I'm ready. Damn. Puts his hand on the uh, on hers. With that, Akari basically jerks her hand away, and you can kind of see her starting to cry pretty badly. Again, again, like, does his best to sit himself up if, like, I'm assuming they're like, near a wall, he'll kind of rest against it. And try and put a hand, like, on her knee. <sighs> he died saving me. Still doesn't make it right. No. And I'm gonna make for damn sure that they pay. Every one of them. This entire school. Again, I hate to be the one to say this. Getting revenge for the school is stupid. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Again, nods nah, like. Even in his rage, he knows this is true. We can't get out. And with that, turns to Alex. What do you we mean? can't get out because... I had a talk with Vlad. Vlad said that We're like, we're not allowed to deviate from the path. Fuck, Vlad. Again. I know we have to get out from the school, from this island. That's going to be hard. I already told you what happened to me and Ivo. Again, just like thinks and what the fuck are you talking about? Me and Ivo went to go where they brought you from. We got there, you said you saw a gate. There's no gate. The, the door. What are you talking about? There's Our memories. Remember that conversation at the yacht? Yeah. There was a door there. We There's came no door. in through a door. There's no door. We went there. No door. No blood. Then we'll find a different one. What I'm telling you is... Our memories... Are being altered. Or at least that's what I believe. Me and Ivo went to the fence. Or 
gate, like you said, door or whatever. Went there. There's nothing. I try to pass my hand through the to the fence. I felt resistance. Then pain and screeching in a loud pop. Again, I'm just going to, like, furiously try and think on that memory, but I'm guessing, like, again, all he gets is that there was a door and he can remember nothing else. So we're stuck here, then. You also said to find Bindi because she was the, the only, only one, one that ever came back from the Avastin class. Not just the advanced, she's the only one to ever win the competition and come back. Yes. If you're saying you want to get out, then it's going to be really hard. Maybe. And it's gonna look over to Daniel. Doc. What's my, uh. What's my prognosis? From what I could tell, you have six broken ribs, one is broken in three places, two are bro broken in two places. You have a micro fracture on your pelvis, and a small fracture on your left collarbone. But you said that they came at you with baseball bats? I'm not surprised. You look like you got hit by a steamroller. They were... They grabbed all kinds of things. Bats, pipes. You are extremely fortunate to be alive, let alone to have been able to escape under your own power. The prognosis is that you have received a lot of damage and you will need time to recover. I would pull back on the Aikido, though I'm assuming that that probably won't be too much of an ask, as you seem to be reluctant to do anything associated with this school. Unless you've got a gas can, that is. I wouldn't recommend that. At least not yet. Wouldn't recommend a lot of things. Doesn't mean you don't want to do them when you're angry. I understand that. that. Is... Anger is acceptable and understandable under such a circumstance. I'm not surprised. I am grateful that you haven't tried to leave, as not only would that hurt your body even more, but if we're privy to all of this secret knowledge, they know about it. And they've got my phone, too. Which I assume they do. And... Right, I forgot. When we were trying to find you again, I tried to check the security cams. And I noticed that someone else was doing the same. Okay. So there's somebody else that's been peering behind the veil? Either that or someone peering from behind the veil. And Either way, we know a lot, and as much as I never thought I would say it, I don't think that our classes... They are important to keep a low profile. <laughs> the the oh. other students, not the teachers. Again, shakes his head. Well, it's not going to be happening no. anytime soon. I spoke to Vlad mm -hmm. when I, before I came here. Well, Everybody I mean... seems to have spoken to Vlad besides me. It seems rad, rather odd and convenient. He was in my room. He, he was in our first room? One to hit me. If I remember correctly, he did invite you to talk to him. You didn't go. You went with Vivian. I had to go. 
Anyway, I spoke to him. There's something suspicious about Vlad. I would take Speaking what Speaking of said, which, where's, you know, where's Vivian and the others? There in the oh, other room. be alone room. at this point. They're all together. I think that's correct as far as we need to play along just so we don't have a target on our back. It's too late for could that you, for me. Could you all listen to me for a bit? Just for a moment? What happened? When Vlad left, he said something about that in the next 15 hours everything's going to change. Vlad was in your room? Yeah, he was in my room. He was trying to look yes, for someone. he said that. Why would he be looking for someone in your room? Because they were there at some point. Not sure who they are, but they trashed their place. Sorry, Daniel. It's okay. It's not important. We need to hide in plain sight, and we need to start... Everybody needs to adopt a buddy system. No matter what our feelings are, no one should walk alone. We also need to bring the others in on this. All of it. Yes. No more cards at the no more cards at the chest. All of them on the table. Um, they they do know some of the things. We told them. We decided oh, after you disappeared. Bring them in. We will tell them. And again, you said that you were hyperglycemic. Uh, it's what Kenzo called me. So I'm assuming that you have some pills to balance you out if you go into a crash. Uh, did Gen take all of them, or did he just like take? Oh, so when Aaron got to you, he gave you, like, the two, three in his pocket that he had left from selling them to the other kid that thought they were Xanax. As far mm -hmm. as actual pills that you have, you have the mini jar that Vlad gave Ivo that has enough for about five deuces. Uh, did Ivo hand that to me? He would have left it in the room with you. <laughs> and then that... Again, kind of looks around and when he spots it, will point it out. Those. Not much left, it looks, though. I might be able to synthesize some more. I will have to look up the ingredients. But if we can make some, then we will all want to carry some, regardless of whether we are or are not with Gen, just so that we can resuscitate him if we find him in a situation. I have a, a, a high-tech cam set in my room. You can use that. That is if then, nobody else went to other rooms. Might have. Probably might have. Then there's the other matter. Ray, you are here. Well, now he knows. He chuckles. <laughs> You yeah. were in a rather sticky situation the last time that I saw you. You seem to be doing a lot better. I Covered. would advise you not making too much physical co contact with the other than myself, just in case. I'll try. Right, Vlad told me there were others. Um, I probably would have already said the names. I forgot their names. <laughs> Um, Martin's friend, I believe, from the Sim Club, also. I got better. They said it was enough. I can't let you guys handle your shit alone anymore. Uh, Ray, when they released you from medical ward, did they give you any special medications or anything? Was asking this? Akari. Akari. Ray, Ray, there's a sort of slight thinking of, of Ray, and he sort of um, looks at the rest of them, looks at Gin. Pulls out the 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 the, the jar of pills. Uh, 
Gen, these pills look identical to yours. It looks at you, Gen. Gen just... Are those... Your hypoglycemic? I... Down I'm starting... hypoglycemic, mate. I am starting to think that neither of you are hypoglycemic. I would like... To... Could I have one of those pills, Ray? What are you going to do with this? Just one. I need them both. Try to... Equalize it. See what's in it. Just look I'm at... I'm just it. going to interject that you only have two pills in that jar, I know. Ray. I need these two badly. I'll let you inspect them. But you can't dissolve or any of that. I need them. I won't destroy it. I will analyze and cross-examine with what I can. But I will not damage the pill. Even though that will make it a lot harder to Gen figure just out. Gen points at his. I... From the looks of it, I've got a bit more. Use one of mine. How much does Gen have? I will have. Five doses. So five pills. Though, I would prefer you avoid destroying mine as well. I will do my best to not only not destroy it, but as I said, synthesize some more if I can. I agree. This is not a good situation. Can I have a word okay. with you privately? Hmm. Yes. It's not time to change his bandages again just yet. Can I do something like... Um, shoot. Like, I want to do it, but at the same time, I don't want to do it. Alexander. Then roll a die and roll a 1d2. <laughs> Alexander, why don't you come with me and tell me a bit more about the pain that you experienced? I would like to make sure it's not neurological damage. Yeah. Um, um, before uh, Alexander leaves, he'll he'll try to um, call Ivo's phone and. You know, um, slide, like, try to hide the phone between the two, like, so he could listen to the conversation. Would I be able to do that? I'll tell you what, we will resolve that next session because we are already 20 minutes over time. <laughs> ah. But I want to know! I, I will be keeping aware on any, uh, because I didn't want this to be just me and Gen, no water shit, but we'll see.